What's going on guys, it's Josh here with Take'em TV and today we got another episode on our duck boat build. Um, I know in the last episode that uh, I put out we talked about how we were going to be replacing the transom in the next video and we're actually going to push that off just one more video. Um, I need to get the trailer completely done today. Later today, we are going and dropping the trailer and the boat off at a fabricator here that's local to me to get these holes, you know, that are up in the boat all welded up. And then I noticed that there are actually some stress cracks on these ribs right here. And then I got another one right up there. So we are going to be getting the trailer completely ready today which means painted and wired to drive it across town here so that way i got you know everything legal and everything everything's fine but so far that's the plan for today so first things first we actually we need to get the boat off the trailer and we're just going to go ahead and throw that in my yard and uh, go from there so hopefully doing that will give us a lot better access to being able to paint everything and grind down all the hard rust and everything and Okay, so we just got the boat taken off, you know, it's sitting over there in my front yard. Be completely fine right where it's at. Um, but as you guys can tell, this is the main reason on why I wanted to get it taken off. So there is quite a bit of rust on the underside of this trailer that I wanted to go ahead and remove, as well as these weird, like, tubs that are right there. I might have to actually leave those, because it looks like it is it is a part of the fender which is different but main reason i wanted was to get after all of this rust and have you know plenty of workspace to where i'm not hitting the boat with a grinder or anything so as you guys can probably tell i kind of started on this side i just wanted to test out the paint that i was using and make sure that it was what i wanted and i'm glad i did because it is not the one or it's not what i want so Right here is a Rust-Oleum, I believe, oil-based flat or matte black, and it's not the look that I want. However, we are going to go ahead and coat the entire frame in this first, and then we are going to go over top of it with a gloss black to finish it and make it look you know, brand new again. And then the last thing that we are going to go ahead and do in today's episode is we are going to rewire the entire boat trailer because there are no there's no lights on any of this you know we're missing the side markers right there we don't have any you know tail lights and so i went ahead bought a whole kit off amazon i'll show you guys the easiest simplest way to wire up your boat trailers and everything so with that let's go ahead let's get started
All right, so this is what an hour spent grinding looks like. It takes a long time, it's really dirty, it's kind of gross, but I got the top, the side, and then this bar right here had quite a bit of rust on it, but overall, you know, I'm, I'm super happy with how this is turning out. It's gonna give it a nice smooth finish. Uh, it shouldn't look too bad. I don't necessarily care about the inside of the trailer. You don't really see it that much. So I just wanted to go ahead, coat the outside, make it all look nice and pretty. And uh, so far, I believe I am accomplishing that. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have some acetone right up there and I'm gonna wipe down all the bare metal so that way there's no gunk or anything on it. And then from there, we will start to paint up this trailer. Okay, so all that this is right here is just some acetone. It's just gonna help take some of the crap off the metal, kind of clean it up a little bit. Uh, get it ready for paint. It's kind of like a, you know, a wax and grease remover. But just wipe it. Just, you can kind of see all the stuff we're getting off. So we'll go around and do this to the whole trailer uh, where we ground, get it ready for paint. Might take a couple rags. Just take your time, go slow with it and just kind of clean up as much as you can. So. Alright, so now we are at the uh, very time-consuming process of painting this entire thing. So, like I kind of stated before, um, this is a flat black, and I don't necessarily like the way that it water spots, and it kind of, you know, grabs a whole bunch of crap in the air. So we're going to be using this as like our first coat over the entire trailer. Uh, and then I bought some gloss black to put on over the top of everything and make it all look nice and shiny and pretty. But however, we got to put this on first. So um, it, it, it's painting. I, I guess I don't know how, <laughs> what else to say. You guys are going to paint your trailer right now. Um, with that being said, if you don't want paint on your driveway, put a cloth down or something. Otherwise, you know, go ahead and paint away. But this does take quite a while and it is quite messy. And today it's like the third hottest day of the year. So it should dry pretty much instantly, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start painting this up real quick and, uh, Hopefully we can get onto that trailer wiring here soon.
All right, so we just got the gloss black put on to the trailer, and I think it looks amazing. This trailer looks brand new again. Uh, besides for these these roller bars right here, I didn't really care about painting those because those are going to get, I mean, beat up. But other than that, this trailer looks really, really good. It's got that glossy shine to it and everything. So I'm actually going to go ahead and we are going to put the boat back on the trailer. Okay, we're finally back on the boat build. It's been a couple days. Um, the boat actually went off to the welder. It got completely welded up. I'll show you guys that now. Um, there were quite a few cracks on the ribs, actually, that he had to go ahead and patch. But overall, super happy with it. All right, so as you guys can see, right there, and then right down here, we had two inch and a quarter holes that he welded shut for us then he went ahead he welded on the uh the seams right here they had some hairline cracks that were starting to form on just a couple of them and he did all this for a hundred dollars if you guys are in the northern or northwestern part of iowa go ahead uh message a guy his name is uh apex welding on facebook uh, he does really good jobs for a really fantastic price, honestly, and the the turnaround time was incredible. He did this in about an hour for me, and it looks good. He said if I have ever any problems, come back. He'll fix it for free, so that's huge for me. But right now, we are actually gonna go ahead and we are going to get this trailer fully wired up. I got my kit over here. Uh, I just purchased a little cheapy kit off Amazon but it should do everything we need it to do and more. So with that being said, let's start getting into this. Right here we have our right and our left tail lights. The, uh, the tail light that has the license plate holder on it as well also has a nice integrated built-in light. We're just gonna go ahead, smack these on the back here real quick. I don't necessarily wanna tighten these lights down too far uh, just yet. I wanna get everything mocked up in position, you know, ready to go before we go ahead and really start to tighten this stuff down. Alright, so as you guys can tell right now, this trailer still actually has the old wiring running on the inside of the trailer. As you can see through the side marker light right there, it's still in there. And I didn't pull this out for a reason. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys kind of a little shortcut that I use to help me snake these, I mean 16 foot wires through the chassis of this trailer. Hopefully you guys can see this well enough. But what I went ahead and did was I cut off this old harness right here that plugged in to the truck. And what I did was I separated each trailer side wire. So right here, we have technically the left-hand side or the passenger side. Um, this is going to be your green and your brown wire. And then right here, we have our yellow and our brown wire for the right side of the trailer. Now, I separated these because what we're going to do is we're going to take the end of our new wires, you know, right here, and we're going to just tape them together and then we can go down to the bottom of the trailer where the old wires are and just snake the new wires all the way through the trailer making our lives super super easy so all what I'm gonna kind of do here is just so they don't come undone in the trailer 
is I'm just going to take them and kind of make a loop on each other. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. Just so that way it kind of pinches against each other. We're not ruining any of the wire right here. But then we can go ahead and take our tape and wrap around our wires right here just the best that you can. You definitely want to make sure that it's tight though. Doesn't need to look pretty, it's just got to get the job done. So That right there is pretty much exactly what we're looking for. I can pull on it pretty, pretty well and it ain't going through. So what we're going to do is we're going to run down to the other side of this trailer and just start snaking it right through. Okay, so we just went ahead, got that wire pulled through. Now we'll just take the tape off and uh, we'll have this all ready to get finalized and wired up on here. Okay, so we just ran both trailer wires, both brand new trailer wires to each side. We have them all prepped. I have these ones prepped right here, just stripped about, you know, a half inch or so. And what I actually did, hopefully you guys can see this, is the wiring comes through this hole and then I can put a little cap on here to make it look nice. So I fed the wires from the tail light onto the inside of this hole so then we can do our solder connection out here and then we can pull the extra back up through the front of the trailer. Now what I'm using as a soldering method are going to be these quick solders or quick heat shrinks with solder in them. Uh, they are fully waterproof and as long as you apply them correctly, I have never had any sort of problems with them. Uh, I'll try and get a little close up here for you guys. But if you guys can see right there in the middle, there is actually a band of solder in there. And then the blue is the heat shrink to keep the water out and obviously the clear is more heat shrink so these things work awesome they are totally lifesavers and they're super easy to put on like honestly you just slide them over the top of the wire and you want to make sure you put them on before because otherwise you're going to be in a bit of a pickle and all what you have to do is connect colors with your trailer wire so green to green and what we're gonna do is called a Western Union splice. So basically, you're gonna make an X with the wires about halfway on each one, and then you're going to twist them on top of each other, causing them to kind of, you know, bind together and forming a solid connection. And then when the solder melts on top of them, it's just gonna hold them even more firm together. Um, this is actually the way that GM from factory uh, solders a lot of their stuff or if you ever have like a, a replacement fuel filter or anything uh, this is what GM does which is super random but it works very well I mean if GM's doing it it's probably okay so I got both of these twisted up brown to brown green to green and then both of our solder connections are just right here ready to slip over the top so I'm going to go ahead get that ready and all what it takes is just a simple heat gun right here and in no time these will be soldered and sealed up for all the water dunking your trailer in um, they're honestly quite amazing so just be careful not to burn your tail light or melt your tail light so heat guns do get a little hot.
right there in a matter of 20 seconds. Our connections are now waterproof, heat shrinked, and completely soldered, and it's amazing. These things are awesome. Uh, they're all over Amazon. Get yourself some, save yourself some time. Just make sure you are doing it correctly, otherwise you will have issues with it holding and everything. The biggest thing in my opinion is the Western Union splice, the twist of the wires together. That's what's gonna get you, you know, you're, you're hooking the wires together. And uh, overall, it's a foolproof way to guarantee success every single time. So go ahead, we're gonna go get the other side set up and then we're gonna come back and take care of our ground wires right here. All right, so I just went ahead and I hooked the grounds up. Just super simple, uh, little crimp loop connector right there onto the back of this stud and just sand off the paint that's behind here so we get a good connection. Um, but overall, like this is the finished product of the rear lights on the trailer. And these cables have, you know, play in them. They can come in, they can go out. There's plenty of room on this ground cable right here. And overall, this kit, off of Amazon fit super super well now what we have to do is install these side marker lights right here and those are just gonna go right down in here on the side of the trailer so just giving you guys a close-up here on these lights uh, as you guys can tell there's only one wire running out of the back of them right here um, and kind of interesting thing about these is the ground wires are actually this bar back here that we will screw into you know the trailer now these wires right here are going to run to our constant power wire which on the inside of this hole you guys can see our wires right there we have a brown and a yellow and then the other side if you guys remember is a green and a brown so our brown is going to be our constant 12 volt wire and then our green and our yellow are going to be our signal wires so for this specific uh, use right here I think what I'm going to go ahead and use are these cable crimps that came with the kit they are not the the most appeasing technically and or waterproof but however they are the easiest to do without you know cutting that wire up on the inside there but overall what you do is you'll slide your you know your black wire in right here and then you will put the other wire in that you want to connect to on this side and then when you go and you fold this over that red spade in there will actually push down and go into the wire causing a connection between the two. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get both of these put on either side and then I will check right back in with you. All right, well, I just went ahead, I got both side markers on and this trailer's coming together. It's looking really good. It's looking basically brand new in my opinion right now. But we have one more thing to do and that is we have some reflective stickers that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one about right here and I was also thinking about putting one right there but I'm not quite sure yet I might put them honestly both right up here on either side just so you know the, the front of the trailer can be seen really easy just because there is you know there's nothing up here but overall that is all that we have to do so let's go ahead smack those stickers on really quick
Okay, so I just finished up putting these decals on as you guys saw. And I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys, you know, a 360 walk around of the trailer right now. Uh, off camera, I buttoned up a couple more things. I went ahead, I threw on a new set of chains right here. And then I also went ahead and just wrapped up the cord or the harness for the trailer wiring. But overall, I mean, I am extremely, extremely happy with how the trailer restoration, you know, worked out. I think this trailer almost looks 100% brand new from the outside again. And overall, the kit off Amazon worked beautifully. As you guys can see, we have lights back here. Turn signals are on top of the lights. And then, you know, importantly, we also do have side lights as well, as well as our little, you know, reflective strips up here. But overall, I'm super happy with how this turned out. And uh, if you guys have, you know, any sort of questions about what I used or uh, if you guys have any recommendations on what you guys would have done differently, please put it down in the comments. Um, like I've said in like the last six videos, I love doing this for you guys. So, but with that being said, I just want to say thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys freaking later. Peace.